she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. Uh, today is Monday, July 10th, 730 in the morning. I'm about to go to the grocery store. That's where I'm headed because I ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't nothing. That refrigerator is bare. All I got is like, it's like sauces and stuff in there. I ain't got no food. So I cleaned my refrigerator out before I left. And anyways, um, I know I feel like it's been a minute. I feel like it's been a minute maybe that last week week and a half in california i wasn't really recording like that and it felt good to take a break for a minute so i'm back now though back in ohio i got back yesterday about 6 30. my flight came in about 45 minutes early i had a pretty good flight home pretty good flight not a whole lot of anxiety which which felt nice um me and my honey went and got some food y'all we were asleep by like 9 30 10 o'clock we was out so I was just tired. It was a long day. Um, but yeah, so I'm back here. And like I said, I got to get some groceries, y'all. I ain't got no food. And I'm not trying to eat out every day like that. So got my list. I'm sticking to my list. Um, so I'll bring y'all with me as much as I can in the grocery store. Because I'm really trying to get in and get out. Um, but I'm going to show you everything I bought. Oh, and I also got something else that I bought. I bought something while... I was in California and my honey bought it to my apartment. So I want to show that to y'all too. So um, let's go grocery shopping because that refrigerator, baby, that ain't going to work for me. It ain't going to work. So let's go to the store. This is everything that I picked up from the grocery store. And I'm so sorry I didn't bring y'all inside with me. I was so wrapped up in this podcast I was listening to that I just forgot to film. Like my phone was in my pocket and I was just in a whole nother world. So let me show you what I got up close. All right, so I got some jalapenos. I got white onions, red onions, some romaine hearts. Got some taco seasoning, celery, bananas, grape tomatoes, two packages of cauliflower rice, ginger. Um, I got some low-carb tortillas, salsa, baby bella mushrooms, two packages of those, avocados. I got some bread. It's my favorite bread. I always pick this up. Um, almond milk, oranges, some green bell peppers, cilantro, uh, cucumbers, got some green onions, got some eggs, and I got some lemons. So everything here, I spent $77, and I think I said it, I went to Kroger. So I spent $77, and I think this will last me for about 7 to 10 days. So what I plan on making are smoothie bowls. So I have frozen fruit already in the refrigerator, I mean in my freezer. I have granola already. I have some shaved nuts, like some shaved almonds. So I needed some banana and I needed the almond milk um, to go for the smoothie bowls. I have eggs and veggies to make like, you know, like a scramble. Um, I'm going to be using this cauliflower rice um, to make some taco bowls. So I'm going to use the cauliflower rice instead of brown or white rice. Um, the mushrooms are going to be my meat for the week. I, I love baby bella mushrooms. And they're a good replacement for me, in my opinion, in terms of like texture and just giving you an extra little oomph to whatever you're making. I'll be making some fajitas as well. I got the romaine hearts to make lettuce. I mean, <laughs> to make lettuce, to make some salads. I got this bread I'll be using this um, to make avocado toast. Also, I'm trying this detox, y'all, too. I want to make this de. I've been doing some research about like stuff to combine together for certain things. So, um, I'm going to be, the cucumber is going to be for salad as well. I have four of them, but I'll be using cucumber, orange. I'll be using the cucumber, the oranges, lemons, the ginger, some water and cinnamon. I'll be having that every morning on an empty stomach. So I also want to get back to like intermittent fasting. So yeah, so this is everything I picked up. Like I said, this will last me about seven to 10 days trying to keep things at home. I really don't want to eat out like that. Um, yeah, so I will show you some of the things that I'm making. Hopefully, I guess it'll be in this vlog. I'll show you some things that I'm making for the week. And yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'll see y'all in a minute. So I made some jerk mushroom fajitas. I chopped up some baby bella mushrooms, coated them in olive oil, added some of my jerk seasoning to it, let them sit in the refrigerator to marinate for about an hour, hour and a half. The longer, the better for it to really absorb that flavor. 
um, added the mushrooms to a skillet for about 15, 20 minutes, let them cook down. And this is what the mushrooms look like once I took them off the heat. I'm going to include a link if you want to make jerk mushrooms as well. Um, I'll show you step by step how to do it at home. You can do it yourself. Not, it's not hard at all. Um, so cook the mushrooms down. Now it's time to move on to the vegetables. Kept it simple. Some green bell peppers, onions, saute them down. Season them lightly with some all purpose. This is also from my low sodium seasoning company. Also added in some jalapeno garlic pepper. Now it's time to assemble the fajita. I added a little cheese, some salsa, the peppers, the mushrooms. Yo, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. What's up y'all? It is now the next day. It's Tuesday, July 11th. It's about 1.20 in the afternoon. And I'm in the kitchen getting ready to make a drink. Um, it's like a detox drink. And I wanted to come up with something that I can have a few times a week. So I had to sit and think about what I, what ingredients I wanted, what I wanted to focus on. So this drink is going to be good for skin, for gut health, and also for brain, your brain health. Um, I'm not having any health issues at all, thank God. And I want to keep it that way. Um, so I think that like making detox drinks or, you know, whatever your favorite smoothie combination are great ways to, you know, stay ahead of things and stay healthy. Um, so as far as like brain health, you know, I want to stay sharp. Um, you know, when you have, are having issues with your brain, it can affect your sleep and sleep is such a huge part of your overall health. Um, cause I've been way more intentional about like just getting quality sleep and I see the difference, feel the difference as well. Um, so I want to keep, I want to keep myself sharp. So that's, this drink is going to be helpful for that. Um, in terms of gut health, you know, I realized how important gut health was when my skin, when I had acne really bad during the pandemic. And if y'all were around, my goodness, I struggled with it. I didn't realize how insecure it made me feel because I haven't had problems with my, my skin since like high school, you know? So it was interesting because I mean, I started getting a breakout like on the right side of my face. Then I started getting this huge breakout on the left side of my face. I had a lot of inflammation. My face was red and puffy and that lasted for months. And I know it's because of my gut health. You know, I was eating any and everything, a lot of processed food. I was drinking a lot. Um, and I, I think it was like the stress and worry of the pandemic too. Like, especially when it like first started, my goodness, just like, cause we didn't know what was going on, you know? So yeah, so I really understood the significance of my gut health. And once I improved my gut health, um, that helped a lot, you know, because people ask me all the time about my skin now and it is about using quality products. It really, it is. You should have quality products, but also you have to drink water. You have to manage your stress. You have to get, you know, quality sleep at night. For me, my goal is to get about six and a half to eight hours of sleep. Um, and that's new for me because I used to be team no sleep, you know, but like when, you know, just getting up and like starting your day with no energy because you didn't get sleep. I hated that feeling. So it's so many things that go into like maintaining your skin. Um, so I think this drink will be good for that. So I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Um, I'm also going to just tell you some of the benefits of some of the ingredients or all of the ingredients. I'm going to give you some of the benefits of it. Um, of course, that each ingredient has way more, in way more benefits that I'm going to tell you about. I'm only going to tell you about a couple, but um, I just wanted to share that information with you. So let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right, y'all. So this is everything that I'll be using to make the drink. So this is one whole cucumber. I would say that that's about a tablespoon of ginger, one lemon, one orange. I'm going to do one serving of chia seeds, which is two tablespoons. And I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'll add water and mix everything together. So a few benefits about each ingredient. The cucumber, um, it keeps you hydrated. It helps with digestion, inflammation, revitalizes the skin. Um, orange and lemon have a lot of the same benefits. Excellent source of vitamin C, boosts the immune system. Um, and they also have collagen producing properties. And collagen is something that strengthens your skin, muscle, bones. Um, let's see, ginger has a lot of great qualities. It's great for your brain. Helps with stomach aches, nausea. If you're having cramps during your cycle. That's why I drink a lot of ginger tea when I'm on my cycle. And it really helps a lot. Chia seeds are a really good source of fiber, uh, which can improve your heart health and reduce cholesterol. Chia seeds just also contain calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, uh, cinnamon. Uh, supports gut health, brain health. It helps manage your blood sugar levels and it's anti-inflammatory. So again, these each ingredient has way more benefits, but I just wanted to share a few of them with you. It's 
trying for the taste test. Cheers. Mmm. Tangy, bitter. I mean, I don't make these for the taste. It's just the benefits of it. So I'm gonna make sure that I, you know, incorporate this a couple times a week, um, but very easy to make. Also, I did make one adjustment. I was gonna do half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of cinnamon. I ended up doing a tablespoon. So a tablespoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of chia seeds. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. And then I want to unbox something with y'all. I bought me a treadmill or a walking pad. Um, you know, it doesn't have like the handle and stuff like that. You know, like the screen and all that. It's just literally the walking pad. Um, Cause I want to make sure that I'm getting in my steps every day. I do. I want to make sure I'm getting my steps in. And even when I was gone, it was like raining a lot while I was gone. So the weather is a part of it is why I can't get out and get my walks in sometimes. Um, or sometimes I'm just really busy working on something. I don't have time to really go out like that. Um, so that means that I can still get work done and walk at the same time. So that's a win-win. And I saw a really good deal on Amazon. Today is the, so today is Prime Day. Um, the, the walking pad that I bought was normally $3.99. I got it for $1.69 and it is on sale for $1.52. So that's a good deal. I think it's a pretty good deal. It had pretty good reviews. I watched a lot of people talk about their walking pad and I didn't really hear anybody say anything bad. Like, and I love the fact that I'll be able to like, that it's not going to take up a whole bunch of space, uh, which is really nice. So anyways, I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna unbox that. So I'll see y'all in a second. So here is my walking pad. It's a treadmill BA04. That's what it looks like. I ordered it from Amazon. It took about five or six days to receive it. Um, I think I mentioned price earlier, but just in case I didn't, I think I did though. Um, regular price, $3.99 and I got it for $1.69. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I had been thinking about getting a walking pad just because the weather out here is so up and down and especially like in winter, you know, I still want to be able to walk during winter as well and get my steps and stuff in. Um, also, sometimes I'm just so busy that, by the time I look up and have the time to walk, it's nighttime and I prefer to walk. Um, I prefer to walk, you know, during the day. So this ensures that I can still get everything done. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to get it open. Um, if you plan on getting a walking pad, my suggestions are look around. There are a lot of options, you know, weigh your options, read the reviews, read the details. So you know exactly what you're getting. And when you're looking at the details, be mindful of the weight limit. Um, I saw it was like the range was between 200 and 300 pounds. This one has a 300 pound weight limit. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing open.
just finished testing out this walking pad, y'all, and I love it. I walked on it for about 10 minutes. I started off at 2, and then I moved up to about 2.5. I wanted to see what it felt like as the speed was, you know, just increasing. Um, it's sturdy. I felt comfortable. I didn't feel like I was going to tip over. It's not wobbly. You could tell that it's well made, um, and it's just really easy to use it. So I did read the instructions to see if I had to do anything, um, and I didn't. It just came out the box just like this. All I had to do was plug it in. Um, it comes with a remote. There's a battery inside already. So all you got to do is hit the, hit this middle button, count it down. And if it's powered off, that powers it on. And you hit that middle button again, it counts down and it starts the treadmill. Um, if you want to increase the speed, you just hit the plus. You want to decrease it. I'm impressed it goes up to 3.8. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know, like I said, money well spent. I'm not mad at this at all. Um, it has an extra battery. An extra battery came along with it for the remote control. And it also had these tools as well inside. So this is for like the belt maintenance to keep it lubricated. So in case you run into any issues or just like standard maintenance because of how often you use it. So that was cool too. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited y'all for real. Like I'm so hyped to be able to make this a part of my routine and be able to walk no matter what. Now, the final thing I got to try is where I'm going to store it. I want to push this underneath my couch right here. So that's the last thing I'm going to do. And I don't see why it wouldn't go under there, but that'll be perfect for it to just be stored there and out the way. So that's the last thing I'm going to do real quick. Y'all look at this. It fits under my couch perfectly. It slid with no problem. There are grips on the bottom of it. Um, so my floor didn't get messed up. This will easily fit under a bed, um, but I'm gonna leave it in the living room because that's more than likely where I'm gonna be using it most because I'm sure I will have the TV on when I am, you know, getting my steps and stuff in. All right, y'all, that's it. We've reached the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I got more vlogs on the way, other types of content on the way as well. Meet me in the comments, y'all. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.